What's up everyone, it's your boy Quicksand and this is episode 107 of Mindset Monday and in today's episode I'm going to break down some of my film and show you how to be an effective point guard on the court. Let's tap in. The first couple clips are going to be about scoring. Now I know the point guard is supposed to get people involved and that's going to come eventually but if you start off scoring the basketball and you show the defense that you're a threat to get buckets either in the paint with the mid-range shots, three-pointers, whatever, once this happens, the defense has to collapse on you. All eyes are going to be on you once you drive. And then once this happens, it's going to open up a bunch of different options, not only for yourself to score, but most importantly for your teammates to get open and get involved in the game. Here's a perfect example of getting into the middle, defense collapsing, and throwing a dime. If you check this out, I spotted the mismatch right away, hit him with the cross jab, use my speed, throw it over my head to a teammate who I know is there, ready to catch and score. Same thing here, I use my handle to get to the elbow, their big steps up, I throw a dime to my big down low, and I'm not afraid to use my handle. Hezzy, my teammate's cutting, I see him, throw a lob over the top, easy buckets. Got a couple crosses, ooh. Get to the middle, left hand dime, teammate wide open down low. If you see your teammate cutting to the basket with the ball, be ready to shoot, be ready to cut, be ready to be available to score the ball. I hear him coming off the sideline pick and roll, keeping my dribble alive, finding my teammate wide open in the corner, easy shot. Again right here, attacking the middle with a crossover, jump stop, pass to a shooter, knockdown shot. And that jump stop is so important, it keeps you on balance, and keeps the defense guessing. It looks like you're gonna shoot it, nah, I'm passing out, dime. This is a move you need to add to your bag immediately, is to change of pace half spin. You can use it anywhere on the court, but I like to use it on the baseline. So the key here is to get the defense to relax. And the way you do that is attacking the baseline, letting them cut you off. Once you get cut off, you face the top of the key and spin right back towards the baseline for the easy lay or the dime. Just like this, face the top, spin, dime. And I have a full breakdown of this move on my YouTube channel. Check out the link above attacking baseline passing out relocating and knocking down that shot never stand still as a shooter always get open i especially love the two-man action on the sideline i think there's a lot of options available you can go pick and roll you can go pick and jump shot just like chris paul on the baseline you can go pick and pop or you can go pick roll right between their legs for the easy bucket when i tell you this works 90 percent of the time i truly mean it like we just don't have clips of every time we've done it but it works Try it out for yourself, get buckets. One of the easiest ways to get buckets is to get out in transition, run on fast breaks. If you have the ball, find your teammates who are cutting on the wings. If you don't have the ball, run on the wing, get open, be available, make the layups when you can. Right here, I find my boy Che with a no-look dime. On this play, I'm running without the ball, I lose control, hit that half spin towards the baseline, throw the dime to my boy Mikey, who continued to cut and did not stop running. That's the key, to continue moving forward or spot up for a three. Right here, I'm running, fake the shot, throw a dime right to my boy J3. This is so difficult to defend. Everything is happening so fast. We're not allowing the defense to set up and we're hitting them on the counters. And it's so difficult if you're a defender to even pay attention to all of these things that are moving at the same time. And don't forget to get your own buckets as well. In and out cross, dude slips, rolling around on the floor. <laughs> Gotta make this shot is the only thing that I was thinking. Next play, skip behind the back, slip, pull up, one dribble, jump shot, got him. Trust me, get out in transition. If you're the ball handler, look to score, find your teammates, run the numbers up, run your score up for your team. Last but not least, if you're a point guard, you have to have handles and a bag of different moves that you can do at any point in the game. Right there, I hit him with the hezzy into the behind the back pull up. Another between the leg, in and out, hezzy cross, one dribble pull up at the free throw line. You got to get your eyes, your hips, your shoulders, your legs, everything involved in your crossovers and your hezzy. So that way you can make them believe that you're going to go one way when you're actually going the opposite. The very next play, Hezzy on the jump shot, two dribble pull up in the mid range, stop on a dime, knock down shot, tough. And for the last play of the video, I have a game winner for you. I pull out one of my go-to right to left float dribble pull up, jump shots for the game. Look how lit I am, man. This atmosphere was crazy. This is a battle for first place right here. Every time we played this team, it was always intense. 
I had to bring my A game. I was always focused. And as you can see right there, I hit that jump shot. That right to left float dribble pull up is a go-to move for me and I practiced that over and over and over. I felt so comfortable pulling that move out and I knew that I had a good chance of getting my shot off if I did that move and it ended up paying off for me. Find a go-to move for yourself, practice it over and over and over and get it in your bag in big moments. And that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. If you're a hooper, study this over and over and over and implement it into your game to help get yourself and your teammates more buckets. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and please share this with someone who you know can benefit. Tap out.